Here's everything you need to know about the new Stranglethorn PvP event. It has already been changed and nerfed, and we'll get into that in a second, but this will give you a breakdown of everything you need to know so that you can farm your epic gear at level 40. And you can farm these before level 40. You can go there right now. Be aware though, you will be mobbed by a ton of higher level players. Either way, this is what you need to do. The event actually triggers like a little bit into the timer, right? Like it's like three o'clock on the server for a little bit, and then the event triggers all of the mobs in booty bay like all of the guards will become just neutral they won't do anything if you start attacking people and then it is a massive bloodbath if you want to do this efficiently i highly suggest grouping up in a group of five or more but each time you get a kill you will be rewarded with these bloods so you can see the debuff below me that shows how many bloods i have i have seen a range of 5 to 25 bloods rewarded per kill and once you reach 255 this is the maximum you will need to turn these in and they will be translated to blood coins and these will give you a rate of one copper coin for every blood you turn in 100 copper coins turns into a silver coin 100 silver coins turns into a gold coin which will then buy you the mount but most gear just requires 5 to 15 of those silver coins meaning you actually don't need a ridiculous amount if you want to buy your epic gear at level 40. Whenever Whenever you die, there is an NPC called the Chain Spirit. There is a ton of these all around the zone, and there's a ton more actual graveyards or spawn points you can get around the zone instead of the normal graveyards. But if you talk to the Chain Spirit, they will resurrect you at max HP instantly. You'll have full mana, full HP. You won't have your pets back, and there's a few other things, but the original version of this on launch actually released you being just farmable by everyone. When the game actually launched this version of the scv event everyone just sat in front of the graveyards and just killed people on repeat to just stack these bloods now there is a debuff in the game so as soon as you resurrect no matter where you resurrect you will have a debuff for one whole minute this means that you will not be giving any bloods to anyone that kills you for one minute but you can kill other people and you will get bloods from them also be aware this is like fully free for all. If people are your same faction, they are also your enemy. Anyone outside of your group, and I would again suggest doing this in five man groups, it is way more efficient. If you're doing this solo, it can be quite a struggle to get a good amount of bloods. Now, as soon as you're getting to that 200 mark of the bloods, or as high as you even want to go, we're gonna want to figure out where one of the altars of the Loa are. Here is a map on the screen right now, and if you open up your map, you will see all of these altars. All you need to do is run near one of these altars, and you will actually drop all of your bloods and they will be converted to coins. It is literally instant. All you need to do, just run near them and then you're good. It, you can actually find people a lot of times farming these altars. They're usually groups stacked around them. So be aware, you might need to stealth or get to them in any way you can. But once you get there, you will have refreshed all of your bloods and now you can go farm more. Now, because of the one minute debuff that they added into the game, you want to always notice if someone has this on them because if you just take them down right away, you won't get any rewards. There is also a world boss in the game named Ka Dumu. You see him right now. Whenever you are near him, he will give you a buff that will allow you to receive extra bloods from everyone you attack. But he will one shot literally everyone. Notice as he just did it, if you get anywhere close to him, he will one shot you and he will stab ears on himself i think eventually we'll be able to down him but i would suggest you absolutely stay away from him right now and if you don't want to participate in this event there are two zandalari emissaries that you can talk to that will give you a buff that makes it so that you do not reward anything from the event meaning that you won't be hostile to anyone of your own faction although the entire zone is full of people so other faction will be there and they will still probably fight you even though you aren't giving rewards and if you have bloods on you at the end of the event don't worry you can still turn in all of these bloods you just need to go to an altar the locations won't be marked on your maps anymore but if you go to the gurubashi arena which is usually kind of still a war field then you can actually turn these in and talk to the event npc that will sell you all of your items that being said this is where you can get all of your items you have to click on your copper coins to turn them into silver coins to be able to buy anything but it's really inexpensive
expensive if you can be efficient. Before the nerf, before they put in the debuff where you can't farm people at the graveyard every second, people were able to get up to 800 to 1500, which is like 15 silver coins in one event. Now past the event, if you are in a good group, I've seen people get more than 600 of these, so six silver coins, but realistically, it will take significantly longer to get your epic gear now that the changes are in effect. And if you're playing solo, it is a lot harder. So here are some quick tips. Make sure that you're always checking if you are gonna get sandwiched, especially if you're in a group or if you're solo. If you are solo, just go for the killing blow. That is what's gonna reward you with the blood. If you don't wanna PVP but want to farm these, go into the open world and farm any of the NPCs in the zone. They will give you one blood per kill, but if you get killed, you will lose some of your bloods. So it might be a little bit inefficient. If you are in a group, try to coordinate and cut off a choke point. Don't farm a graveyard because all of those people will just fight you, but they will not reward you with anything. They have the one minute debuff, which is really, really long. If you are a little bit away from the graveyard, somewhere like a choke point on the road, then you can intercept people or interject with people that are already fighting and take them all down. Of course, you want to nuke healers as fast as you can and kind of defend your back line, but also be really, really afraid of these three classes, Oomkins, Shadow Priest, and Beast Mastery Hunters. With, I should also probably mention that a melee hunter can delete you, but they shouldn't be able to get in range of you. But if you run into a Shadow Priest, they can basically one-shot you with Shadow Word Death. If you run into a Boomkin, they still have a large range on their nukes. So those are the classes that are by far the scariest to deal with right now. And after the event ends, if you do die, after the event ends, you will actually have to go back to one of the normal resurrection zones. So one of the normal graveyards, these are like very far away from where you usually are. So just fear that, don't try not to die after the zone because you'll have to run back and it'll take quite a while. But if you leave the zone, you still do have all of your coins. You don't need to worry about that. Your coins are in your inventory. You can turn them into silver coins or copper coins or gold coins at any time, and you will stack these up forever. And with that being said, good luck to everybody in the STV event. It is incredibly fun if you are in a group, probably really frustrating if you're playing solo and honestly i think we're going to see some more changes coming to it this week which i'll try to keep you all updated to as soon as that happens if you like this and want to help me on my journey to 100,000 subscribers please subscribe to the channel uh i love you guys yeah have a good weekend this has been such a fun launch and i'm very curious to see what everyone's having fun with and experimenting with and what the changes will be next week all right bye